Spencer, you're a huge advocate for not making promises you can't keep. Over these past two years with you, you've stressed the importance of that to me, but I can honestly say that I finally understand the weight of that concept as I stand before you with my vows, or promises, in hand. Elizabeth, your physical beauty is what initially attracted me to you, but it was your soul beauty that captivated my heart forever. Since March 27th of 2017, I have grown in love with you every single day, and I vow to continue growing in love with you every day for the rest of our lives. These vows are promises built on the foundation of love. Of love for you, but of love especially for God. In my creature self, there aren't many promises I can keep, but these promises here today are the ones I vow to hold steadfast to. I vow to always pursue the heart of Jesus first. I vow to try my best to love you like Christ loves the church. I will strive to lead you and point you back to the Lord in every circumstance. I vow to be vulnerable and give myself completely to you, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. I commit to serving you and laying my life down for you. I vow to protect you, care for your needs, and keep you safe. I vow to always recognize that Jesus is my first love. In that, there is no doubt that I won't be able to love you with everything that I am if I let my first love work within me. This love with Him will be a wrecking force in my marriage. I promise you that. I vow to never give up on you. I don't love you for who you are. I love you for who the Lord created you to be. Whether you walk out in that or not, this marriage is lifelong. I promise I will not leave you. I vow right now to deny the right to myself because I am not my own. I was bought at a price and in knowing my value, I promise to lay down every entitlement for the sake of loving you well. I am worth so much more than being selfish towards you. I will fight to empower you and give you a voice rather than taming you. I will strive to hold you accountable in all things. I vow to never leave you or quit on you. You are so worthy of being loved by my entire being. It's going to be my joy and delight to follow through with these vows, promises, and commitments. I vow to encourage you, to speak life over you, to cherish you, and to see you as the priceless gift that you are. Jesus handpicked you for me, shedding his own blood in the process. I promise that you, my love, are a gift, not a burden. Spencer Daniel Wilson, in all that the Lord created me to be, in all that I am as I stand here today, full of life, the Holy Spirit, and so in love with you and our Creator. I vow to never, ever, ever let sickness, cancer, lymphedema, a doctor's word that we won't be able to have children, which I am believing in a miracle for, or any other attempt from the evil one, to steal my joy of being your wife. You are perfect, you are whole, you are worthy, you are a man, a warrior, steadfast. You are a joy to love. I promise to love you in sickness and in health for as long as I live. You are the greatest decision I've ever made outside of giving my life to Jesus. I agape you, Elizabeth Holden Wilson.